Spartans, a warrior race in ancient Greece, were arguably the greatest military culture in the history of warfare. Spartan boys were taken away from their mothers at the age of just seven to be inducted in the Agoge, a brutal military academy where they spent the rest of their lives preparing for war. It is said that the only relief a Spartan was ever given from military training was when he was at war. Growing up in Sparta was no picnic as the Spartan elders employed cruel and unique tactics to train their boys. From a young age they schooled their boys in the principle of survival of the fittest, but also in the survival of the sneakiest. Spartan boys were given minimal food and were encouraged to steal rations as long as they did not get caught, thereby separating the dumb and weak from the strong and wise. The men who excelled in training became part of the elite troop known as the hoplites. Every Spartan hoplite wielded a long spear, short sword, and a small circular shield. The principal Spartan tactic was the phalanx, which required highly disciplined and coordinated maneuvers only possible in practical battlefield conditions after lengthy and rigorous training. It was this very tactic used by the renowned 300 Spartan hoplites to defend the narrow pass of Thermopylae against 100,000 Persians for three days. According to written records by Plutarch, Spartan mothers on the eve of war told their sons, Spartan, come back with your shield or on top of it.